the thing to think about is for, for you as the buyer, how do you intend to enjoy the property? Do you need uh, lots of exterior space? Do you mind sharing a party wall uh, with with other people? Um, do you um, you know do you need extra parking? You know that that can come into play. I mean a little bit more parking. Um, those would be things to think about with a single family home. Uh, with, with a condominium, a lot of our buyers really are looking forward to the convenience of having something that they can just bring their clothes, bring their food, and, and they're ready to go. You know, literally just bring your toothbrush and, and you're ready. Um, a lot of our condos would be sold fully furnished for the convenience of, of the buyer. Um, you'd be ready to go there. Um, and the other thing we find with, with condominiums is you can buy a little piece of the beach a lot of times closer to the beach, closer closer to the ocean or closer to the direct bayfront for less money because it's compartmentalized. So that, that could be something that you'd want to consider as well. Um, with a condo, you're going to pay a condo fee, which is going to cover operation of the building. So your exterior maintenance, um, your, your insurance, um, hazard, fire, flood, wind, hail insurance. Uh, is going to be included in that condo fee. Reserves to keep up the, the exterior of the building. Um, and, and then just general operation. That's all going to be included in your condo fee. When you buy a single family home, um, you're responsible for all of your insurance. Um, you are responsible for all your exterior maintenance. Um, you know, so, so there's going to be more responsibility on you but then also you get to make all your own decisions.